Hey everyone, in the news this week, Mariah Carey is being sued for $20 million by someone who claims that she stole the song All I Want For Christmas Is You. In similar news, I've investigated suing her for that kind of money after having to listen to that song every year since 1994. In other showbiz news, Robbie Williams said, quote, fame should come with a warning. And if you ask me, it should come with an expiry date, Robbie. And the racing jockey Lester Piggott passed away at the age of 86. Apparently the funeral is going to be on Wednesday at 10 to 1. Finance experts are also predicting the economy set to soar after police and the taxman finally take a look under his floorboards. But of course this week also saw the UK celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, meaning she's been doing the job for 70 years. The naming system also includes gold for 50, diamond for 60, and I think if she makes it to 80 years it's a gallon of petrol. Back in the 1970s for the Silver Jubilee, the Queen got given a London Underground line for it. And this time around she got given the Elizabeth Line crossrail system in London. Meanwhile my kids have to put up with asking for a Brio train set from Amazon. It does make you wonder whether America would have better public transit if they didn't keep changing presidents every four to eight years. Of course, one of the questions in the past couple of weeks was whether Prince Andrew would be allowed to turn up and hog the limelight and overshadow the event. But as it turns out, just days before the announcement came out that Prince Andrew had COVID, would you believe it? You'll have to stay at home and isolate until it's all over. What a shame. Perhaps he is telling the truth, though. Teenage girls are more likely to be asymptomatic carriers. I wonder if he got night sweats. Anyway, on the subject of attention-seeking people, Prince Harry flew in with Meghan and her new child. And I'm not saying they're in it for themselves, but I wouldn't put it past them to use the opportunity to scam a free christening service out of the UK taxpayer. For what it's worth, I am not really too bothered by the monarchy. You know, it's weird and dated, but so is my record collection. It's also no worse than having a presidential election where the choice would inevitably turn out to be between Tony Blair, Russell Brand or Noel Edmonds, with the BBC presumably attacking that shameful selection of candidates, not due to it being ridiculous, but due to its lack of gender or racial diversity. On the other hand, if a tragedy were to befall that somehow put Prince Harry back in contention for being the throne, then you'll be the first to see me in the television marching alongside the like of Jeremy Corbyn, demanding that they depose him in favour of you know, anyone really. Maybe Claire Balding is head of state. She's young enough that she might even last long enough to get a train system out of it. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.